there, I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and associate broker of Miga Homes with Keller Williams. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. I publish videos on a new real estate topic every week and you don't wanna miss anything. With that being said, I am beyond excited that in today's video, I'm starting a new series on downsizing. This series will be comprised of 14 episodes covering a variety of important topics for consideration when downsizing, like is downsizing right for me? Things to think about when buying a condo, how to prepare yourself step-by-step -step to downsize, what financial benefits may be involved when downsizing, and of course, mistakes to avoid and more. So let me introduce today's topic and the first video in the downsizing series. What is downsizing? Well, downsizing in real estate has three primary definitions the act of moving from a larger home to a smaller one, the act of minimizing your footprint and overall the amount of personal objects or clutter you may own, and moving from a home isn't necessarily a smaller in footprint, but may require less upkeep because more of the responsibilities are taken on or maintained by an association or community. Most often downsizing is thought to reference empty nesters, which is the group of people who are generally approaching retirement or recently retired and their children are grown and out of the house. However, downsizing is applicable to all age groups and can also be used as a tool to save money, create a more balanced lifestyle, or offer amenities you wouldn't otherwise have. So now that you know what downsizing is and who it applies to, let's break down the process of downsizing into three main components. Component one, the physical objects in your home. As life goes on, we tend to collect or hold on to a lot of things. Sometimes they're things we have because we never found the time to go through it. Other times we've held on to it for sentimental or emotional reasons, or it is simply hard to part with the items that you've had for a long time because you're used to them or comfortable with them. So the first step of downsizing is recognizing that we have a lot of items that may or may not need to be sorted through, donated, recycled, or sold as you begin the process of downsizing. Downsizing boils down to two things, identify the essential and eliminate the rest. Component two, the mental and emotional readiness to move on. Part with your home or collections. For a lot of people, the decision to downsize can be a roller coaster of an emotional journey. It isn't just a matter of recognizing that it's time to get rid of stuff or downsize, but rather working through the emotional and mental barriers you have preventing you from taking action today. A great quote that I find motivating is by Emily Lay, who is the author of A Simplified Life, Tactical Tools for Intentional Living. She says, a simplified life means that what has to get done will get done. And when we pare down life to its simplest, most beautifully basic parts, we're left with room to enjoy each other, to rest, and to truly savor life with all of our hearts, minds, and spirits. This is the essence of what you need to process and feel to begin the process of downsizing with full speed. Component three, the logistical process of successfully downsizing. Now we can all relate to being overwhelmed at one point or another. And I'm sure we can all agree that the idea of working out the logistics for downsizing can also be overwhelming. But just like anything else in life, if you start with a plan, take it step by step and day by day, you'll be there in no time. Now all of these components are equally important and need to be carefully considered and thought out so that you do not become overwhelmed with the amount of work it can require to achieve your goal of downsizing. Also, remember to give yourself some grace and understand that it takes time and effort to downsize, whether it is for financial reasons, for a change of lifestyle, or because you're an empty nester. With the right preparation and resources, you'll be able to accomplish your goal without issue. I hope you learned a lot about downsizing and that you find it helpful for you to make your real estate plans moving forward. Please subscribe to my channel today as I'll be releasing new videos every week. And tune in next week's episode five questions to ask to determine if you're ready to downsize. Plus, if you think you may want to make a move in the next year, or you might want to downsize, give me a call today and set up a consultation as I create custom moving plans for all of my clients up to a year in advance. In addition, I work with a variety of contractors who can help with things like decluttering, estate sales, paint, carpet, handyman work, and more. And if I'm not able to personally assist you, don't worry. I'm part of a global real estate company and can find you a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. So don't delay and reach out to me today. And in fact, if you haven't had a chance, please check out another one of my videos on why you should get a realtor referral for an agent when relocating. That will teach you all about how realtor to realtor referrals work and what to expect when you ask me for one. You can also check out my other series on relocation, selling a home, buying and selling simultaneously, 
buying a home for the first time, new construction, and more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.